Out from the ashes of uncertainty emerges a bird, a bird that stands alone, reborn and renewed with the strength of forged fire. Swift as light and beautiful in color, a symbol of strength and divinity, it becomes immortal and invincible. As this bird flies in the sky, it claims and rules everything around. There is only one, a phoenix, a bird that rises from fire to live again. Coach Limbo is indeed a winner, professionally and personally. And we're delighted to have him as our new head football coach. Please join me in welcoming Coach Pete Limbo. I appreciate the commitment that the Elon administration has made to bring me here and to provide the resources that I believe are necessary to enable us to build a program the right way and ultimately compete for conference championships on that beautiful field in this beautiful stadium. Elon didn't go to the Southern Conference just to become part of the conference. Uh, Elon went to the Southern Conference to compete for championships. On a humid September night just off the Grand Strand, the Elon Phoenix began their climb against an out-of-conference foe, 25th ranked Coastal Carolina, and it was a ground the flight of the Phoenix had to achieve. Second team All-Southern Conference, West Pope, passes to fellow second team teammate, Mike Myers, for a touchdown. And first team all SOCON, Terrell Hudgens, runs for another as the Phoenix starts soaring high. In the second half, things continued to soar for the Phoenix. The defense only gives up 103 yards on the ground and continues to make plays. Elon's offense totals 331 yards and controls the air all night to the roar of the Elon crowd. As the clock winds down, victory is secured. And head coach Pete Limbo reminds the players. Yeah, it's, it's awesome offense, I'll tell you that. It's, it's uh, extremely fun to do. Uh, and, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be back in the quarterback spot and you know, having a chance to do it. And uh, you know, Tonight was our first game. You know, we were a little rusty, you know, of course. And uh, I got, got a few things that we need to work on. But, you know, for the most part, we worked hard this preseason and put a lot of good things together and made it happen tonight at the game. So. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face 
Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. That's a team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. We're gonna, we're gonna execute our job. The only thing that matters to me is executing my job. Does everybody understand that, right? Because I know the guy beside me is counting on me to do it. And I know he's gonna do it. He knows he's gonna do it. He knows it. So now I'm on, everybody got me? Right. That's the focus we gotta have, man. If we have that focus today, it's gonna be a great day. I can't wait to see you guys make plays. I'm gonna trust you. You've been prepared. You know what the job is you got to do. Oops. Just sell out. Just sell out on every play and do what you coach. And we'll get a W today. Just sell Ooh. out on every play. Yes, sir. Right. Here we go, are you? Hey, Moody, how we doing? Respect on three. One, two, three. Respect. Respect. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You, you know. Me, you, you know. Me, you, you know. Me, you, you know. Let's go, baby. It's my yeah. game time. Yeah. yeah. From the opening kickoff, Elon made plays against Presbyterian in front of the Road Stadium home crowd. At the 35 yard line of Presbyterian. The offense rolled up 327 yards of offense against the Blue Hole. The Phoenix defense smothered and knocked away opportunities for PC. The defense allowed just 82 yards on the ground and 184 yards in the air, but had three interceptions and made it a very dreary day for the visiting Blue Hope. Selling out is what Elon did. Respect is what Elon gained with a 28 to nothing win over Presbyterian. Respect. What you got, babe? Words slurring, engine purring. Mommy front, but I'm so determined. Shots up a drone, now she in the zone. I ain't talking about the two three. Mommy in the zone like the homie two three. Jordan chain, make no difference. We all ball in the same. I am the Mike Jordan of recording. You might wanna fall back from recording. But you right, it's not important. So it forced him to go for the hype for being brave. They may applaud him, but misery I will assure them. Oh, uh, baby, just ignore them. True for dear, mommy, listen and learn. I got a drop, I just took up the top. It's your turn. Hey.